Let's take a look at the combined path features in Autodesk Graphic. In other vector applications, these may be referred to as Boolean operations or Pathfinder tools. To see the combined path tools, they'll be located under the Properties panel just by clicking this icon here. Now to use these, what we need first are some paths. I'm going to choose an ellipse and just drag out a shape on the canvas. I'm going to hold Shift to get a perfect circle, V to choose the selection tool. Then I'm going to use Option and holding that down, I'm going to drag Copy. Holding Shift and selecting, I can select multiple objects. Under the Layers panel, I'm going to twirl that down so that you can see the objects and what's happening to these objects as I use the Combined Path tools. With both shapes selected, I'm going to show you how each of these features interacts with shapes that you have selected. First we have Union. What Union does is unites two different paths into a single path. So as soon as I click this, you're going to see the blue lines here that indicate the edges of the shape are going to disappear from the center here. And in the Layers panel, you'll see a single object instead of two objects. So I click Union. Now I have one shape. And if I use the Direct Selection tool, which is A on your keyboard, you can see that I can further edit this shape with the Direct Selection tool, just like any shape, by grabbing these points or nodes and moving them around. But what we have now is a single shape. Let me back up a little bit and show you the rest of these Combined Path tools. The next one we have is Subtract. And Subtract is going to subtract whatever the top shape is from the bottom shape. Again, you have to have two shapes selected. Now I'm going to push subtract. And you see now we're starting to get kind of a crescent moon. So these are really great tools to use to create more complex shapes from basic shapes. And by the way, you don't have to use circles. You can use any shape available in graphic, including shapes that you create with the pen tool like so. Let's use this shape and overlap it with our other one. Again, with both of them selected, let's continue looking at the combined path tools. The next one is intersect. And what intersect does is subtracts everything except the overlapping area of two paths. So when I click intersect, you're going to see just this inside area as these two shapes overlap will be left. The next one is called exclude and exclude subtracts the overlapping area and leaves everything else. So it's the opposite of intersect. Let's click that and you'll see exactly what I mean. Now what this has done is it's subtracted just the area where these shapes were overlapping and it's left me with two pieces. So I have two objects here in my layer and it's subtracted the center out of those two objects. Let's undo that to look at the last one which is called Divide. Again with two objects selected, I'll click Divide and Divide will simply chop the overlapping area into separate shapes. Rather than subtracting it, it's just going to divide my overlapping objects into multiple objects. So I'll click Divide. Now you see in the Layers panel we have three objects and if I begin to move these around you'll see exactly how that's divided the overlapping area from the two objects that were selected. So now I have three pieces, which is a great way to create complex building blocks that you can use to arrange on your canvas. These features work really well for crafting logos and illustrations, and I hope that you explore them further. Another feature of Autodesk Graphic is its Paste Inside feature which essentially creates a clipping mask for images or shapes or groups of shapes. It allows you to clip or contain images and shapes inside of other shapes. So for this example, I have this character here. This character is in a group and it's all vector shapes, all individual little paths. This entire illustration was all created in graphic, by the way. But what I really want to do is 
place this character inside of this circle, kind of like a profile image or an icon, without destroying all my hard work. So I'm going to select the character, which is just in this folder or group, and hit Command X. That's going to cut it to my clipboard. Now with the circle here selected, I'm going to my Edit menu, and I'm going to choose Paste Inside, which is Command Control V on your keyboard. And once I click that, you'll see that it's going to paste it inside of that teal circle and it's created a new type of group in my layer, which is a clipping group. So I have my circle, which is clipping the contents of the rest of the group inside. So you see I can click on the character and I have access to all of my pieces, all of my objects, all of my paths, but it's all being contained in that circle. This is a really powerful feature in graphic and it's a great way of being able to create icons or profile images or graphics for social media and lots more. I hope that you continue to explore the combined path features and the paste inside feature which allows you to create clipping groups in Autodesk graphic. Thanks for watching.